The situation with Brett gets crazy. I was never that bullish on something in my entire life. Each day, there are more and more details being found by the community. And today, something truly historic was found. I never looked at Brett from that perspective before. Guys, you don't want to miss what I'm about to reveal next. So, let's not waste a second of your time and get straight to the point. Disclaimer. Today is a huge day for Brett. A massive tweet just dropped on Twitter, and it's making waves in the community. The tweet starts off addressing some of the chatter about how boring Brett might seem right now. It makes a pretty strong case for why this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Let's think about the alternatives for a second. Do you really want a coin with a destabilized floor? Do you want those wild swings every day or even every hour? Imagine waking up multiple times a night, frantically checking your portfolio just to see if you're still solvent. That's a stressful way to live. Some people love the adrenaline rush of new charts, but this tweet points out the harsh reality. Chasing those quick highs often leads to getting broke, wrecked, and stuck in a cycle of despair. The predators of the crypto space prey on this behavior, and it rarely ends well. The tweet drives home a critical point. You will never get rich quick. Accept that. Embrace that. You can build wealth slowly, but you'll never be the one to get rich quick. This is solid advice. The get-rich-quick mentality is a trap. Building wealth takes time and patience. It's okay to gamble a little with a tiny fraction of your portfolio, but if you're serious about this game, long-term investing and perspective are key. Betting big on new launches with the hope of a 1,000 times return is unrealistic. The tweet emphasizes, that will never happen. Ever. Not you. The message here is about discipline and commitment. It may cost you months in a bull run and years over a decade, but the potential return on investment could change your family's future forever. The tweet boldly states, Brett is the easiest hold this bull run, clearly the Shiba of this run. Remember how Shiba Inu had months of being boring before it exploded? This is about financial freedom and not having to worry about the devs pulling the rug from under you. The tweet challenges us to rethink what we consider boring. Is financial freedom boring? Is not having to worry about rug pulls boring? If so, then being boring might just be the smartest move you can make. It's about discipline and making the right choices consistently. In 2025, those with a poverty mindset will wonder why they can't make money while looking at the disciplined and savvy investors who seem so lucky. But it's not luck. It's discipline. The tweet gives practical advice. Eat vegetables, go to the gym, drink water, read books, study the greats, keep positive people around you, hold the right projects for a very long time. This is a call to take ownership and responsibility for your future. Do the hard things every day and stick to them. Brett to the Deca Billions is the rallying cry, and it's about believing in the long-term potential of this coin. But is it really a time to shift our mindset and embrace the discipline that comes with long-term investing? And the long-term perspective with Brett really starts to make sense when you look at the numbers. Check this out. Among the biggest gainers in the top 100 coins in the world over the past 90 days, Brett is not only the top gainer with a massive 66% increase, but it also doubled the percentage gain of the second place coin. That's almost 2.5 times the percentage gain of Pepe, which is in third place. And once you look beyond the top 15, everything else is in the red. This is a huge accomplishment, especially in a market that's been less than stellar lately. If Brett can perform like this over the last three months in a tough market, imagine what could happen when the Ethereum ETFs land and Bitcoin's price shoots towards $100,000. The potential is enormous. But here's the thing. Usually as it happens, most people aren't prepared for these kinds of opportunities in the crypto space. They often don't see the big picture until it's too late. When major market shifts happen, like the introduction of ETFs or massive price surges, unprepared investors are usually left on the sidelines, full of regret. They look back and realize they missed out because they were too focused on short-term gains and didn't have the patience or vision to hold on. This is why understanding and sticking with a long-term perspective is so crucial. It's about being ready for those big moments and not just chasing the next quick high. By staying disciplined and committed, you position yourself to take advantage of these opportunities when they come, instead of being caught off guard and missing out. As one Twitter user says, if you study the performance of the Brett team, you'll know this is just the beginning. Brett is on track to be listed on every Tier 1 exchange. And it's worth noting that this is a big deal for any project. Being listed on Tier 1 exchanges like Binance, Coinbase, or Kraken is crucial because it brings in a lot more visibility and liquidity. More people get to see and trade the coin, which often leads to price increases. 
Look at what happened with Dogecoin or Shiba Inu. Before it was listed on major exchanges, it was just another meme coin. But once it hit those big exchanges, its value and popularity skyrocketed. The same thing could happen with Brett. Right now, we're in the early stages for Brett. It's not listed on any tier 1 exchanges yet, so the price can still be considered relatively low. This is an opportunity. Remember, Brett already reached a market cap of 1 billion USD without being listed on any tier 1 exchanges. Just imagine how much more it probably could grow once it gets those listings. Being an early means, you're getting in before the big wave of new investors that come with tier 1 listings. It's like buying a stock before it goes public and gets all that attention. The potential upside is huge. Especially interesting is Brett's potential connection with Coinbase. Let's not forget, Brett was launched on Coinbase's own blockchain, and it's currently the top cryptocurrency by market capitalization there. This really fuels the theories about a deeper connection with Coinbase. But why does this matter? Well, being on Coinbase's blockchain and achieving such a high market cap, there suggests that Coinbase definitely knows about Brett's existence. As one Twitter user pointed out, you will know that retail will be coming for Brett on a huge scale. Hint, Coinbase wallet. If Coinbase lists Brett, it will make it easily accessible to millions of users through the Coinbase wallet, opening the floodgates for a massive influx of retail investors. This potential connection with Coinbase could be a game changer. It justifies the optimism around Brett and its future listings on other major exchanges. The exposure and ease of access could drive the price even higher as more people jump on board. Some people even say, you will know that Brett is the Shiba Inu of this cycle. And this is a very interesting take. Shiba Inu was one of the most explosive meme coins in the last bull run. It went from being a relatively unknown token to a household name, bringing massive returns to early investors. If Brett is being compared to Shiba Inu, it means people believe it has the potential for similar explosive growth. And let's be honest, that's pretty cool. People are also saying, you will know that it is destined to become the number one meme in the world. Set your targets higher. A hundred billion market cap for the most bullish project of this bull run. That's a huge goal. And it's easy to see why it's generating so much excitement. A $100 billion market cap would make Brett a major player in the crypto world, not just among meme coins. It shows that there's a lot of faith and optimism in Brett's potential. Reaching that kind of market cap would mean massive returns for current holders and could solidify Brett's place as a leading cryptocurrency. But what is your opinion on that? Comment down below. I'd be eager to read your opinion. If you are curious to find more, then make sure to click on one of the videos you see on screen. And with that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please like this video and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. This really helps me with the YouTube algorithm. Also, please share this video to as many people as possible. Let's get this news out there.